So these are my blackberries that have gotten completely out of hand. So uh, there's um, like a Menards bucket for comparison as to how big this is. My tripod is back there. Um, this was like two plants. <laughs> but okay, so here's the deal, right? So I planted these. It was one of the first things I planted on the property when we bought the place. And I wasn't understanding how absolutely aggressive these plants are. I imagine raspberries are probably the same. Um, we've had a lot of Japanese beetle damage on them. They're pretty, they're pretty lacy at this point. Um, but what I want to do, oh, there's a ripe one right there. Oh, you guys, look. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty good. Mmm. Mm, they're good too. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Anyway, so um, so there's another problem with these. It's too far away from the house, and the birds get here. Even if I check them every single day, which I do, the birds get here before I do. So I have um, gotten like maybe a handful of blackberries the whole time we've had these plants, and I've had these plants for since 2014. So 10 years ish. Yeah. So anyway. Um, <laughs> So what I'm doing now, so so blackberries travel, raspberries I think do as well. See, here's a good example. See how this cane has come down and then it hits the ground? So what happens is, let me see if this one is doing it. No, it will be. It will put down runners into the soil and start, it'll start roots, which is why this is so crazy. Um, Another thing I, I think the plant does as well, based on what I'm finding over here, is I think it spreads by rhizomes also. So it just goes right under the surface of the soil to, um, to grow new, new uh, plants. So anyway, so what I'm doing over here, I've got my Menards bucket with uh, two of them that I dug up and I thought, you yeah, know, maybe I should be filming this. What I'm doing is, so over here, we've got some plants that I think these some of these are rhizome spreaders I'm pretty sure but like this one so we'll dig this one up next and I'll show you um, and then here's one here I can probably separate off on its own and maybe this guy too maybe this guy we'll see how they're connected but anyway so I'm gonna I'm gonna dig these guys up so you can see what uh, what the roots look like Okay, so this one you can see the plants here. Now I'm just going to clean all this junk out of here. Try to keep this in the frame. All this creeping Jenny, get this all out of here. Clear away some of the dirt ball so we can see the. But all this is, all these roots here, these all belong to this blackberry plant because the creeping Jenny is right on the surface. So we got all the creeping Jenny pulled out of there. That's all up on the surface. And everything else you see here is all for the blackberry. So this will probably spread into two plants maybe because of this side shoot guy here, but we'll see. But anyway, so I'm gonna put this guy in my bucket. I'm gonna go collect some more and I'll see what we get when I'm finished. Okay, so I pulled, I pulled a, a dozen plants out and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them in the bucket and I'm going to go fill the bucket with some water. Not fill it, but you know, so the roots are sitting in water. And you can leave these plants in the bucket if you need to for a few days. They'll be fine. Just keep them out of direct sunlight. Um, and yeah, so I will probably be able to put these in on Monday. I have to wait because Friday I'm going to go pick up. I need like three T-posts for this project. So yeah, so anyway, so that's how you dig them up. That's what the root balls will look like. To pull one out here. It'll be like that. And uh, you should be able to just put these right into the ground. Keep them well watered though. I'll go over that when I plant them. But anyway, so that's digging up blackberries. I walk with you through the great divide. 